long day. this newspaper. McCartney was locked up 10 Hollywood stars for being communists. Kind of proves that it could happen to anybody. Sure, I'll take one. Come on in. How's it going? So, uh, how much are those newspapers? Well, they're five cents a piece, and I wouldn't really mind you giving your two cents about communism. Well, you're right. It could happen to anyone. Even that guy. Heard about that poor guy. Poor Hound got blacklisted. McCarthy caught him sniffing around. Couldn't even save his doggone marriage. Oh, hey, the, uh, the government's after him for spying. He'll be back in the pen in a week. Yeah, I heard that all the... Oh, yeah. That's all right, yeah. come on. Morning. Communism is continuing to spread in Europe. Do whatever you can to prevent this horrific government from spreading to the United States. Does killing 45 million people in four years sound appealing to you? What about being named the greatest mass murderer in world history? If so, direct your attention to Mao Zedong. <laughs> Similarly, Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union eliminated everyone who was a threat to his power with no regard for human life. This loss of human lives adds up to 40 million. In addition, the very few people that lived did nothing but work. They had no basic rights, no vacation time, and the government stripped the environment of its resources. Also, the constant fear of war is always on the horizon because of the way communism threatens the world. If living in these conditions appeals to you, then you're on your own. That doesn't sound promising. I don't know. I don't know if I could deal with a communist government in the United States. Somebody like Stalin came in power. I don't, I don't know what I'd do with my life. Yeah, man, I don't... I don't, I don't want someone like Stalin to come into power in the U.S. I like being able to buy what I want when I want it. I like being able to go on vacations. I like my job. I like my house. I have children. I like having whatever I want just when I want it. And if someone like Stalin came into power, I just wouldn't be able to have any of that anymore. Man, we got to do everything that we can to keep communism out of the United States. I just That's what I'm That's what I'm here to do. I'm going around selling all these newspapers. People have got to know what communism is all about. Yeah, man, you're definitely right. I'll look into spreading the bad word of communism. So how about that newspaper? How about that nickel? There you go, man. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good one. You too. Two, three. Blue furs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Why is this funny? <laughs> I don't know. Think about a dead baby, okay? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're definitely right. I will, uh, I'll look into spreading the word, a bad word, of comedy. <laughs> <laughs>